Okay, hi guys. I hope you all had a great weekend. I sure as I sure had mine. <laughs> it was great. Um, so let's talk about Bitcoin. Um, this this weekend I presented you guys. Uh, this is my Twitter, guys. <laughs> I presented this count here. This is my bearish count. Okay. Now I, I want to talk about it a little bit. Okay. Because I promised you guys that I would present a bearish count. I was so bull. <laughs> I was so bullish. Not so bullish. Let's face right. We are humans. We get excited. Okay. We get excited and then we say, oh my goodness. Well, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> it's. It's, it's bull time, but you need to take a, a step back and, and think about it. Okay, so what's the overall picture of this whole movement? Yes, so so then I decided to do this, right? I decided to think about it and to think about it in terms of... Uh, it's, it's really... A, um, revisit the book, again, revisit my guidelines. Um, and uh, I don't know if you remember... Uh, let me show again here on my on my Twitter because uh, my previous overall picture. I'm sorry, guys. I, I need to find it here. Uh, my previous overall picture for Bitcoin was something. It was an ABCDE. Oh, no, sorry. No, this is here. Sorry. Yes, it was an ABCDE. The problem with this count, the problem with this count, guys, is that E. Has that it has 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 uh, reached a lower level than C, and I was looking at my guidelines, not my guidelines, but at uh, the Elliott Wave principles guid guidelines, and it should not fall below the level of C. So then I decided to recount this whole structure, and this is so amazing because this is how we learn. This is how we. We evolve, right? We need to, as always, we need to, to remember that we are not perfect and we do mistakes all the time. And I assume that I am wrong most of the time. Like, I can't, uh, uh, this is my, this is, this is how I trade. Okay, and this is how I, ke I keep myself from being overconfident and uh, doing more mistakes that I would do otherwise. Okay, if I was like overconfident, given um, enough time, okay, given enough time, you are gonna see that. Uh, and when I say enough time, it's more than one year, ten years. Given enough time, you're gonna see that yes, overconfidence is not a good thing, especially in this, in this, uh, in this thing that we are doing here, trading. Overconfidence is not a good thing, not a good thing at all, and. The psychology and the statistics, everything beyond, uh, be underlying trading, instruct us that that we are wrong, that we are dancing with the uh, with the goddess Fortuna all the time, and we need to accept it if we are if we are to be good traders. Okay, so um, this is my count. This is my bearish count okay assuming that we haven't finished this thing yet okay i decided to not count this as an a b c d e oh but again you're changing your count of course i'm changing my count guys of course i'm changing my account i am reacting to the market okay i'm, I'm reacting to the market and uh, i am um i am learning with the market all the time and applying the the framework i'm not just passive here waiting for the market to do what i want this is this is the up uh, this is the path to the <laughs> to, to to the <laughs> liqui liquidation let's uh, let's assume that okay i am keeping this, those trend lines this yellow trend line that i have been saying that's important because it is important we see that we are above it this trend line i want uh disregarded because you see we are sitting above it we had finished yesterday with a spinning top so hmm. uh, let's see the ema as well right because we are 
Yes, we are above. Oh, beautiful. 21 has crossed the 100 EMA here. Okay, the yellow line. 21 is crossed. 21 is crossed. 21 has crossed the 100 and has crossed with a lot of confidence the 55. Okay, now we just need to wait a little bit for this to cross the 200 EMA. It's gonna be really nice. Okay, it's gonna be a bullish time for a bit. Bullish time for I don't know for <laughs> some time. We, we we can't be so confident to say that we have a trend reversal. Not yet. Okay. Uh, that being said, let's let's go and talk about this count here, the bearish count. Okay. I I see this ABC. It's clear, right? This thing here, ABC is clear. We can't argue about that. I I don't. Doesn't matter if you. If you, if you, whatever count you have, this is an ABC, clear ABC, and then we have this nasty figure here, this nasty sideways correction here. Okay, as I have been saying, we have correct most of the price of this movement here. Okay, with this ABC, we correct 60% of this whole structure here, of this whole impulse wave, we correct most of it in price here. We just this ABC. It's a sharp and clear correction that we can't just ignore. It's 60%, okay? Just here. You see? This, uh, this 618, 65%, we just crossed it. Like really easily in one, let's see, uh, this was December, right? December, sorry. December, and this was February. Two months, 60%, guys. A bit more, yeah. Sixty percent is a lot. This was the correction of the price, and I have been saying, guys. Now we need to correct in time. What's a correction in time? Correction in time means sideways correction. Okay, corrections are not only about price; it's about time as well. Okay, and I have proposed this W here that is not that would finish here with a flat correction. Okay. But now, thinking about it, I'm going to move it to this point here. Why? And I won't consider this as a flat, but a sharp correction. So this ABC would be W. Let me take this A here and put, change it. Okay. Um, this. Okay. Then what, what we would have, instead of this ABC, we would have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for an A. Okay, this would be our A. We would have an X, uh, any tree, an expanded flat for this X, I said here. But let me see. I, 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 I am changing this count just because of the clarity that we have in this ABC. And I want to separate this part here and this part here. X is going on according to this count, right? So A, and we have a B here. Oh, this region here is really important. I'm not gonna. <laughs> that's why I, I I draw this box here. This region here is really important. Okay, we have hit it. You see, th this was a previous region of one, two, one, two. This was a really pre. Uh, it's it's acting as a support since. Uh, this was November yes we tried to break it but it's a strong strong resistance I'm sorry strong support that when we we touch it we we trace we pull back okay so we have this ABC so that would be our a this whole structure here would be our B this a B C you see and then we want to have a C okay and then we would have a C. This would be our A, B, this would, I'm sorry, A, B, and C. Okay. Let me change the degree, put a, a, a degree, a micro here, and this, yes, no, no, it's fine. Okay. This would be our, this would be a different count, and then we would need to with a five a motive impulse wave, but in a corrective structure. This is a motive impulse wave, but in a corrective structure to finish our X. 
X as a guideline, at least 50% of the W, okay? At least, so if we measure it, here we have our feed retracement tool, where is the here, and then we have here, okay? At least 50%, here I marked uh, 65%, 68%, okay? Uh, if you want if we want more data about it okay more data this is 50 15 K okay 1500 this would be the price here okay 1500 1400 here we would have 50 percent that would be 1300 okay 13 K nice yeah so we have this bullish momentum we need you and this would if we go here and then resume the Y with a zigzag that would be really cool because we would have this structure. Can you see the structure? Here we have a sharp correction. So we would have something like this at the end. Let me draw an A, B, C. Okay. W. Then we would have an A here. B and a C for our X. And then we would have a zigzag. A. B, C. Okay, is I'm sorry, it's weird, but yes, more or less like this. We would have a just sharp correction A B C W, A, then a uh, expanded B, right? This would be our A, A B C. This would be our B. It would be like this, and inside this B would have uh, this A B C. Wait. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. We'll have this A, B, and C. And then we'll have now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. This would be now our, st this would be our structure. Nice. Really nice structure. Okay. A really sharp correction here. That's what we had. And C here. W. Now we have this whole structure here, A, B, C as an X, X, A, 3. And in this case, not an expanded flat, but it's just a, an A, B, C, but it's a, a flat, right? A, A, 3, in this case, a flat. In this case, sorry guys for the sound again. I need to remember to turn this off. Okay, it's a flat ABC. Not expanded because... Wait, wait, wait a sec. A... No, yes, an expanded flat. Yeah, I was... <laughs> in an expanded flat. In the case, an expanded. Why expanded, guys? Wait, I'm gonna show you guys. An expanded flat. Okay. You see A here. This is the beginning of A. Here we have a B that goes beyond the price level of A, the beginning of A. So it's an expanded. You see, here we have our A. B is starting below it. So the, the, the structure is like this, actually, right? No, wait. Here we have our A. A. And here we have our B. Yeah, because here we can't see this thing. Uh, A is like here, right? A, B is here, so it's expanding, and we have our C, okay? Uh, let me show, guys, let me show you guys here in the, the guidelines that we have. So, uh, we don't have a triangle, we, here, okay? An expanded flat in a bear market, okay? This is an A, B, C, okay? This is what we have there, okay? This is what we have here. A, B, C. C might be, as we're gonna see in next next uh, page, might be a running. We might have a running flat. Okay, a running flat. In this case, C would be shorter than the region of A. Is it gonna happen? I don't think so. Why? Because we think we we, we get uh, uh, the market is showing that. The market wants more price, 
a higher price for them to finish this correction. That's the sentiment. That's the the, the that's what we can say now. I might be wrong. Of course, we might get to this 50% here and just go down. Yes, it's it, this would be. Uh, we would have a lot of uh, sellers here, a lot, because this is a 50% of this of this FIB retracement here. So it's clear that this means a lot. Okay, so this is the structure that we have. Okay, A B C sharp, but here is the C. Here we have our A. B going down and and uh, putting a. This is an A B C. B is expanded and then we have our c we need to finish the, we, we need to finish our c here one two three four five and then finally a zigzag at the end for our y okay what does uh, why i'm presenting this count guys i'm presenting i'm presenting this count just i'm presenting this count just because um it's important to be a bear in a bull market if it's a bull market and we are a bear if you are thinking of, if we if we assume that this is what's happening, we are not going to lose money. We are actually being smart. We we are planning according. We are uh, taking our time and being conservative instead of just jumping in and waiting for lumbos. I hate this expression. Hate because this is so unrealistic. Okay. You don't buy a, an asset ju and just wait it to moon. This is not realistic. One, um, I don't know, one thousand of a one, <laughs> um, a thousand of percent <laughs> is the guys that is really lucky and get millionaire, you know, in one swing, in one movement. And this guy is probably gonna lose everything next movement. Because this is the statistics. If you go and read about it, you're gonna see that this is not a, a, a beautiful world. If you got, if you are time and if you are in this in this uh, business of trading for long enough, you you know that already. That the chances of getting wrecked is way higher than going moon and uh, getting our lumbos, like they they say. Okay. <clears throat> So, um, this is my bearish count, which is not bearish at all, at least for the short term, we have this motive impulse wave, okay? We are finishing this ABC, okay? Again, let me explain why I changed this Y here, I had this Y here, but I changed to this point here. For two reasons, because I want to separate this sideways correction to this sharp correction, first reason. And second reason is because this correction here, if I have my W here, my W, sorry, here, the the extension of the C would be shorter and I it wouldn't be as an X like this. Okay, it wouldn't um, it wouldn't reach the price of uh, 13k and uh, if we use the retracement to the extension to I'm sorry and we take this point here a and this is our B you would see that we have a, a, a nice confluence here right nice confluence 50 per let me show you guys nice beautiful confluence the 127 percent is exactly at the at the 50 percent retracement from the stop here I'm sorry to the stop here and to the stop here all the way down to this bottom okay to this bottom here here this is the the real bottom right it's a confluence here guys 127 percent is a really beautiful spot for a C wave okay so I'm gonna let me just adjust it a bit because this is uh, I'm discovering this thing now with you guys okay let's put the C here this is how I'm gonna play I'm gonna wait for this 50% why because I have this confluence here it's showing us that a lot of algos is gonna buy here I'm sorry it's gonna sell here okay let me take this this line now show wave now it's, it's so messy 
I'm sorry guys, I know it's a lot of retracement, a lot of fibs, but let's let's see this thing together, okay? Here we would have an um be here. Okay. Here we would have this is this would be our second wave, then our three and the fourth, and then our C here. 127, 50% of this retracement here, guys. Beautiful. So swinging. Let me zoom this thing. Yeah. Let's just be a bit more precise because I don't like to. I'm I'm counting the feet, the the week. Sorry. Let me put down here. Okay. Now it's beautiful. Okay. Here we have this region here. Let me put a box there. Let me draw a box here. This region here, guys. Okay, this would be a region that I am looking for selling. Okay, a lot of uh, I believe a lot of sellers, a lot of algos is gonna look for this region, right? We have this confluence, 50% and the 127% of this uh, extension from A to this B, what I'm calling B here, and here we have the 127%. Okay, that is the, the best spot for our Rave C. Okay? Beautiful, isn't it? Then we would need a... Then, uh, this is uh, uh, another story. When we start correcting this whole movement here with our Y. Okay? With our Y would be the end of this correction. <laughs> allegedly. Okay? If I am right and if this, co if this count is correct. Okay, this would be our X, A, B, and C, an expanded X, okay, an expanded flat for our X, and then a zigzag for our Y, okay. So, this whole correction would be composed of a sharp correction, an expansion on our flat, and a zigzag, okay, nice, beautiful, okay, within the, within the framework, okay, if I show you guys here, what is a double combo? I'm sorry, where is it? Here, okay, flat zigzag triangle, but we can, uh, uh, according to the alternation rule, we can have different uh, setups here. In this case, we have a zigzag here instead of a flat. Then we have a flat for our X, and we finish with a zigzag, or perhaps a triangle. We don't know yet. Okay, perhaps we finish with a triangle. I am proposing here a zigzag. I am proposing, but let me write it here. I am proposing a... I am proposing a zigzag. But we might... We might as well have a triangle. Okay? Which... which uh, why I am proposing um, a zigzag because of this X it's going really high and I think that the market is gonna force for force the the price to go as low as who knows man then we would need to to, to imagine this as a pivot and and uh, use the fib, fib retracement from this low here to this high here and see the the algo targets down here let's I won't do that now. Okay, guys, let's let's wait for it. Let's wait for it. When we have some, when when we have more data, we can think about the why. If this is an X, if this count is correct, if and only if. Okay, for the pre, I'm sorry for this is the daily chart. Um, as always, I like to show you guys my week chart. So beautiful, right? We have crossed MACD is crossing, okay? Uh, we are above the 21 EMA, 21 EMA. We are above all the the EMAs, of course. Those two here, we don't have the data enough to be really <laughs> anything different than this. This is our weekly chart, um, and this is my uh, my one hour chart, okay? The way I see it, we are, of course, correcting sideways. Yeah, so here we have our one. Okay, again, let's, let's, 
talk about my my whole structure here i have this truncated fit okay allowing for this truncation here allowing it okay it might not be true it might i might be wrong but the the count is pretty much um okay yes it's pretty much okay but um the, the count would I, I remember that i presented you guys that if this count is is correct i need to allow for a, a first wave here of this degree to be extended what that means that the fifth wave must be at at this level 100 percent or lower okay i, I am uh, i had this red line here 9k would be a i'm sorry let me 9k would be a nice price for this first leg one okay this would be our one and then we would correct this movement okay 9k let me 9k i think is a psychological region for us and we have this strong resistance 786 okay we need to break this strong resistance 61865 okay remember guys what is this this is the the swing from the this what, what is those resistance here from the highest to the lowest i i my fib retracement tool from the highest point to the lowest we have those regions here so we need to break it because those resistance were previous support now we now they are acting as resistance okay strong resistance here for instance right when we had this we, we tried to break it and we are now retracing since since we we, we hit that 618 65 percent okay now this is what we have for my short term we are we have finished this four and we are now starting this uh one two three four we are starting this fifth wave okay we have one and then we are now correcting for our two i am present i i don't think i am uh <laughs> i don't i don't know if i'm correct okay i i can't be 100 percent sure this is the second wave okay the second wave of the fifth wave of this degree here this degree here is um, a minute minuet okay to finish this degree here this green degree here that that is a minute okay that's that's the whole movement okay guys the way i'm counting we have this line here acting as a resistance we try to break it in weeks weeks one two three okay one two three and this is by the way this was a a, a wave two here so it's significant what i propose is that what we have is a barrier triangle is expanding and it's a and it is a barrier triangle we have this a b c d e okay c would need to be lower here okay lower here and we would touch this resistance all the time if this is a barrier okay and then we would have a e that is a bit lower here uh, as you can see here in the book we have the examples of those movements barrier is something like this you see you see okay we don't have an example that is going up like this okay but or something like an expanding triangle it's also fine but this is the barrier and we are expanding down with the e here below to go up okay when we have the let me put let me show guys let me show you guys the the structure of how it looks it would look something like this okay would have our c the d would be like here and the e would be like here something like this okay this whole structure would be our two and we would be like around the 61865 percent of this first wave here okay it would be a a, a, a nice correction uh we would we would hit the sweet spot here the 61865 and would be ex even it would be an expanded correction that is always uh what bitcoins likes okay here we have this line here 
Uh, here we have an A, B, an expanded, okay, beautiful because we have an expanded C wave, an expanded flat inside of this C, which is beautiful because here we have a, f uh, a sharp for A, sharp for B, an expanded for C. C is often in a triangle, the, it's often the, the most complex wave okay so we expect we expect that the the complexity will be here in this wave c at least if we if you are following the guidelines okay so we are now finishing this wave c not really finished we are in this wave c we are finishing the c within this c here then we would have a d and a e then who knows when we would finish it it's a le at least a bit more time for it to finish, okay? I would be looking for... I, I had those green lines, but I would be looking for somewhere like lower, right? Like here. To start buying it, okay? And if I bought it, it's not a problem, okay? I bought it, but I'm going to buy more here at this region. If I don't hit those levels here, it's not a problem as well, right? If I don't hit... Um, like seven uh, seven nine hundred. I think eight k is a really pretty region for, to start buying because it's a psychological region. Yes, and we would bounce. I, I'm gonna um, mark it here. We try to to get down to eight k, but it we failed. You see, C would try to go below the level of this A here. Yeah, if I am correct, and it don't need to be really, really lower than uh, a lot lower than A. It just need to be few bucks lower to this pattern uh, for uh, for this pattern to be true. Okay, and that's it. Then we would have a three, four, five to finish this whole structure here of one. X is not here. X is way, way higher. Okay, guys, way higher. Not here. I was thinking when I wrote this X here, I was, I was uh, completely <laughs> mistaken. I'm sorry. X is way up there because if, in order to put this X here, we what we are doing, we are finishing this two here, and we will start this one, two, three, four. We are starting. We are gonna start this one, okay, and uh, we are gonna finish this one. And we are gonna put a two and then a three, okay? That's what's happening, according to to what I see, at least. Yeah. When I when I look at the daily chart, one, two, three, one, two, four, five. It looks like we have finished five waves, right? Perhaps I might be thinking. I might. Um, I might need to read reconsider this count here yeah? uh, never know I am considering this as my count yeah because here we have this truncation what who knows okay guys um, so let's pay attention at this at this uh, one hour chart here if this plays out if it doesn't I'm gonna be thinking about a different way to count this because we might have a different count here but what is important is that we are going up afterwards okay it doesn't matter um, of course it matters but it doesn't matter exactly how I count it but uh, the trend movement the trend movement is that the way I see it is that we are going up okay we are going up all the charts are showing us that that tendency the trend is up, so we need to pay attention at the retracement to buy, to get, to, to, to be on the ship when the, when the movement goes up. And for instance, everyone is looking for this third, for this third wave. Yes, that's why we need to be really confident when the second wave is, is on, is in, I'm sorry. Then we are going to be happy to, to, to be <laughs> a buyer here, right? And a seller here, of course. It's mine. Okay, guys. Um, 
if you have suggestions uh, feedbacks whatever you want if you, have, if you want me to analyze a different chart and or to propose something is you always have my all my social medias follow me on Twitter because I, I I'm always looking at the chart and having different ideas and proposing different counts because that's what we need right we need to be open open to different counts okay and if you like my video please click the thumbs up there and subscribe and thanks for watching we see each other next time bye bye cheers